Hi, I'm Lieutenant Gretchen Granados, and welcome back to the Spirit of the Shield. Do you remember the first time that you held a newborn baby in your arms? The tender way you picked him or her up? How you held your breath a little because of the awesome responsibility of holding such a tiny, fragile life in your arms? You were especially alert, extra cautious, and oh, so gentle. We know that when we are going to be holding a baby in our arms, that they need to be steady and strong, yet gentle. And we make sure that we are acting in gentleness in those moments. But when we've had a bad day at work, or when we get into a fight with our loved one or our spouse, or when our children just aren't listening, it can be difficult to act or to speak in gentleness in those moments. Yet we read in the Word of God that we are to cultivate a spirit of gentleness in our actions, in our speech, and in our hearts. We are told in Philippians 4 verse 5 to let our gentleness be evident to all. Let my gentleness be evident to all, you ask. Isn't that just another word for weakness? In the eyes of our ever-aggressive and every-man-for-himself world, maybe it is. But in the eyes of God, gentleness is strength. Max Lucado once said, I choose gentleness. Nothing is won by force. I choose to be gentle. If I raise my voice, may it only be in praise. If I clench my fist, may it only be in prayer. If I make a demand, may it only be of myself. Join us this Sunday as we explore another fruit of the Spirit, gentleness, and allow yourselves to be transformed by the gentleness and tenderness of our God. God bless you.